We are actually extremely excited today because today we are welcoming back our small um, uh, street food traders as well as the market stalls. On the 15th of June we will welcome back our non-essential retails and they will follow with bars, restaurants and beauty salons at a later stage once the government guidelines have been um, cleared and set out. We have implemented several measures to keep social distancing in place. We're going to have security at each entrance of the market to count the footfall, to monitor the, 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 the customers' way in and out, and should we need to disperse any larger crowds, we'll do so safely and securely. We have stickers all over the market to remind customers to remain their distance of two meters. We have free, free sanitizing stations. We encourage our customers as well as traders to wear masks and be responsible while they're in the market. Yes, nobody has the right answer where the 1st of June is the right. When do we open? Summer is coming. We are, we are really honored that we work in this Camden, uh, in, in Camden market because we have an open space. We have enough space to spread the tables and to allow that social distancing to take place in a much safer environment than the rest of our competitors. Of, yes, 80% of the street food units and we have 100% of our stores who wanted to come back on the 1st of June and that's exactly what we've done. We've given the people the option, we, we, we respect that there's some, some other tenants who feel not safe to open yet, we respect that and if they want to open they're more than welcome to open. We have suspended all the rents to the, for the tenants since the lockdown and they will be suspended until further notice. We are here to support our traders and help them rebuild a robust future. No, no concerns at all, no, no. We've been looking forward to coming back and uh, I think it's taken long enough and I think uh, it's a good idea to uh, start opening slowly different businesses. Social distancing Yeah, it sounds about right because uh, we already have about a meter and a half distance between us and the customers. Uh, we keep also I mean, we are on each station, which is more than two meters apart. Um, the face mask and the gloves will help uh, a lot uh, in first place not to touch our own faces, and second place not to spread anything. I think for the locals it's a great idea because uh, before the lockdown, um, the main business of the market was all tourists from overseas. And uh, there was no chance for locals, or you know, maybe it was too crowded for them to come over. And this gives them a good uh, opportunity to come out and uh, try the market once again, as they used to years ago. To come today, so yeah, so we, we just yeah popped down, didn't expect to see it. It feels, it feels great. So uh, yeah, this is your favorite place. Is it your favorite place? Can you say that? Her favourite spot, so she wanted to come for some donuts. We just didn't expect it to be so busy. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah we're we're probably from, we're not relaxed about it, but we're, we're, we've got you know we're confident, and um, so we follow the guidelines. You know, we wash our hands. Wears, you know, she wears a mask. We stay our distance. So I just don't think. Um, yeah, I think it's good. I think I think some new sense of normal needs to kind of start. I think people need to. I think confidence needs to. Be re rebuilt really, and I think by opening places like the market, I think yeah, people just will understand how to kind of function in a new way. And I think the, yeah, the risk is low here, so um, yeah, so we, we feel we feel safe, don't we? Yes. Well, we just walked in, um, but it looks good. It's uh, I, the markings make sense. I like the directional, although we didn't notice, and we're walking down the wrong way. Um, but, you know, this canding always gets very, very crowded, so I think it's going to be hard for them to control the crowds, but uh, hopefully they can do it in a way to keep people safe. You know, it's one thing to put in place measures for people to social distance and stuff, but it also requires people to have, you know, to use their own, their own sense about, you know, if a place seems too crowded, they shouldn't go. But they're comfortable. Yeah.